Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are looking at the Falcon Glider. Um, now, it, it, the Cobra counterpart of this would be the Viper Glider as well. So we'll kind of cover both of them. Um, when we switch over to doing our game stats, really they're both one and the same. Um, it's just a simple aspect of having a glider. So uh, the G.I. Joe Falcon Glider was first released in the United States in 83. Uh, the box included a driver, uh, Tan Grunt. The toy was also sold in 84 and discontinued in 85. So um, having some nice views, and of course we have a picture of Grunt here. Okay, so a nice top view look at it. And of course then we get some of the angled views. Now this would actually be some of the easiest um, kind of sets for us as individuals to try and create. More or less, uh, we could probably just kind of do this out of some, uh, I don't know if you want to do some balsa wood or maybe even, um, uh, you know, just a simple um, doweling or whatever and some paper or whatever. Um, you know, it wouldn't be all that hard to do. If we're doing it for the uh, the classified series or whatever you know i think we very easily could even get some cloth to put onto there so it would actually look a little nicer um kind of giving us that so really looking at the blueprint here i mean we have the wings up on top so our 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 fins and i'm kind of feeling here as to uh exactly how to call them um and then, uh, really, we just need some way of fastening our Joe onto there and then uh, most likely trying to get our handholds. So um, there is supposed to be a 30 caliber rapid fire uh, machine gun. Oops. And then I kind of um, actually it says machine gun. So that's two weapon system reinforcements. So <clears throat> I would say if, if you're putting anything on here, you know, maybe two submachine guns of some sort, a 30 caliber submachine gun that, you know, would just have like a trigger assembly. So that way when you're holding on to it, you could probably just kind of fire. Um, that would be my take on it in all reality. Because with a glider like this, it's not like we're going to be throwing a lot of stuff in here. Um, and of course we have some nice stickers. So and we flip back to the very beginning. Um, the entire Falcon Glider was extremely fragile. Uh, made of foam, extra care should be taken with the Falcon Glider. So we very easily could just manufacture this on our own with our own um, kind of whims of how we want to do this. If you wanted to upgrade it, it would be a fairly simple way of doing this. Um, actually thinking about it i should probably see if i can't do this out of lego i think that would be awesome all right so featured in gi joe uh, tech lighter the falcon was featured in several different various media throughout the years we have some collectibles comic books cartoons and commercials so we do have the falcon and viper being listed here um and of course argentina and brazil had some slightly different box art so that's what we have here to start off with. Okay, and now that we look at it in our stats here, to you know, simply put it into our Star Wars kind of scenario, however way you want you were you would like to look at it or possibly do this. Um, so this is a personal scale. Uh, it is about roughly ten feet or three meters wide, really. Uh, not really so much in the length, although I think a lot of gliders are a little bit longer. Uh, just kind of throwing it out there. Um, and we can go roughly about one kilometer up. Uh, it's a maneuverability of 1D. Now, um, you know, it's just kind of thinking about it because you're relying on the wind. So, I mean, we can, we can buck the wind and then we might be able to get a little bit more maneuverability out of it. But then typically you're going to start free falling a little bit more than what we really want to. Uh, started doing a move of 40 miles an hour, and seeing I never did put 
uh, a kilometer kind of uh, equivalent in here. So let's try and see if we can't come up with that right now. Um, and, okay. All right, so uh, looks like we're talking about uh, it's a 64.37, so we're just going to round it up to a 64 uh, KMH. And then let's close our bracket up here if I can find the right button. Okay. And, of course, I only gave this a body strength of 1. Um, from what I've seen, and I'm no expert in any regard, so please bear that in mind, um, most of these are like a nylon. Uh, I could be wrong. It might be something else. If somebody knows better than I do, please let me know. But uh, I think it's just like a nylon that we use for the fabric. So, um, you know, it might even be a rip resistant. But when we're talking about guns shooting at it or whatever else, because we're looking at this in a military sense, I think that would probably be about best. Okay. So I do have a light auto blaster, although thinking about it, they do have two. Um, so why don't we change this to, and then we're going to up the damage a little bit, to, oops, and then I hit the wrong one. All right, two light auto blasters, um, front personal scale, and it's only a fire control of 1D because it's just very rudimentary. Um, I'm giving a little extra here. Uh, 3D for damage. We're going to put it up to a 4D plus 2. Um, oops. 4D. We're going to go plus 2. All right. Um, actually, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about this. Maybe that should almost be a 5D because these are, these are light weapons. Um, Being something that you, you really want to limit this, you know, there's there's a part of me that says, well, they said 30 millimeter or 30 caliber. So a 30 caliber, I would say, should almost be a 5D by itself. But I'm having it as a light blaster. We'll leave it at 5D. Um, there's a part of me that, that almost says, you know, to, to reduce the weight, maybe you almost have it like a 22 or something like that. Or, or a blaster equivalent to that um, so it can hold extra rounds in there but it is very light something that's not overly heavy um, so I'm just kind of going off of that um, you know right or wrong I don't know uh, but just like I said I'm just kind of basing off of that nothing very heavy um, typically whenever we see uh, in the cartoons that I really remember that they were using this, they were using it as an escape or something to get into battle with, and then after they were in battle, then they were good. So um, just kind of keeping it in that terms. Um, so looking at this, I think uh, I will have to try and see if I can't. I never thought about trying to make a glider out of Legos, but I think that's something that maybe we should try and do. Um, I can maybe try and work up a little spine or something like that. Um, I do have some spare Technic pieces I had ordered for some of the other works I had done in the past. Um, and I know it just unburied a little bit for a nephew. So, um, yeah, I think that that kind of really encompasses it. I think it gives it the, the same scope of what we have here. Um, it's, it's something that we would typically see from time to time. I think we could probably... Um, say it could be broke down a little bit. Um, that would really be a nice feature if you could kind of break this down and, you know, just kind of wrap it up so that way it can be stored away and then we can unfurl it for actual use. So, you know, just kind of going from there. Um, not exactly certain how we're going to try and get someone fastened in there out of Legos or if I do it out of whatever. I mean, we could probably do this out of popsicle sticks or something for the framework and then keep this nice and wide. Um, 
I think it might be a little challenging, and that would have to be a whole video on its own. I think we might have to try and do that just for the fun of it all, trying to keep something light. So maybe I might do uh, something just so I can... I think I'll try and make it more like a, a kite, an old-fashioned kite. We'll see if we can't get, get it to work. Um, it'd be even funner if I could get it to work with a Joe figure on there. So we'll, we'll see what we can do. All right. But that's what we have here today. Another, you know, kind of iconic, something that we do see from time to time in some of the episodes. I know when uh, Duke was trying to leave uh, one of the Cobra bases or whatever, he actually flew away on uh, a Viper glider. And then they were sending people out after him. Uh, there have been cases where we have uh, some of the Cobra troops actually using the Viper gliders to jump out of a plane and then get down to the surface quietly. So, um, you know, it's it's just one of those things that we get to see from time to time. So, uh, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next video.